Hey guys, Harris here, and I got a drone. So this is the DJI Phantom 3 Professional Drone. Getting technical, it is a quadcopter as it has four arms, and it runs for nearly 1200 bucks in the US, which includes 4K video at 24 or 30 frames per second. But if you want to step down to the advanced model with 1080p video, that's 800, and then even further down to the standard model, that's 500. DJI is trying to make a lineup that can put drones in anybody's hands. I mean, who doesn't want a drone? You can view your neighborhood or become one with the birds. It's super easy to get started using this. Just download the DJI Go app for your iPhone or iOS device or Android phone, and that includes iPads and Android tablets. Slide it into the bay, connect it using your device's cable, and you're good to go. You're ready to get started and start flying. And flying really is as simple as moving the joysticks down and in to activate the propellers and then start flying. All navigation is from the controller, which is pretty big in itself, but still is fairly comfortable and easy to use. On the front, there are two joysticks to control movement, position, direction, height, and you can customize it to your preference in the app. And below is the power button. Tap once to view the battery levels. Tap again and hold to power it on. To the right of that is the fly to home button, a very useful button, and if you hold that, it will automatically return the aircraft to where it originally took off or wherever you designate home to be, and it will automatically activate this feature when the battery hits a dangerous low point, and that's definitely a great safety feature. The app is also really great. It's a bit confusing and cluttered, especially if you're new to it, but if nothing else, it's nice to have the utmost controls available over a device this expensive. And via the 2.4 GHz wireless network, the drone will transmit 720p video straight to your device, and from there you can adjust the camera settings, start or land the drone, view a map, and a ton of more features and controls and customizations. You can view your flight history, set restrictions, watch tutorial videos, view your profile, fine-tune and calibrate the remote and the drone, view your shots, and, and more. There's a ton of stuff you can do in the app, and it's really handy. One of the most impressive things about this is just how easy it is to get a great shot. It's dead simple. You'll have to learn to maneuver it a bit, of course, with any new device, there's kind of a learning curve. But once you do, you're almost guaranteed to get a great smooth shot almost every time. As a three-axis gimbal and uses both GPS and GLONASS, which is Russia's satellite system, to lock in coordinates and stabilize shots, and it does a really good job of that. And a combination of the GPS and the 2.4 gigahertz signals allows both the professional and the advanced models to fly up to five kilometers away from where you are, or 3.1 miles, of course, save any obstructions, and that's seriously incredible. I can stand here and fly it a couple miles down, and without too many trees, I get great signal, and it's really cool and really impressive. And also can go up several hundred feet. The FAA technically limits it to 400 feet, but it can go higher. So my biggest problem with this drone is probably the battery. This is it. It's big, it's heavy, it's 4,480 milliamp hours, and it costs 150 bucks. That's a lot of money. On top of that, it only lasts for 23 minutes of flight time. Now when you think about it, it's got to power this drone with a camera, with blades, with an engine, with a propeller. It makes more sense when you think about it, but I still don't love it. I still don't love the fact that I have to recharge my battery basically every time that I want to take my drone out, maybe once every other trip that I take my drone out. I understand why it's that, but I don't like how expensive it is, and that's probably my biggest gripe. But it's not the end of the world for me because I can charge it in less than an hour. Again, not a huge deal. So I've had this thing for a couple weeks now, and I've been in love with it since my first flight. Is it the most practical device? No. It's an expensive toy and an expensive hobby to have, but if you can afford to buy it and you get it, you'll love it, and I love it. So thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in buying or checking out any of these drones I mentioned in this video, links will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed this video to show me some support, and I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next one.